Hey guys, it's Damien with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to root the Motorola Droid 2. Okay, so before you get started, you need to know that this root method will work on any of the variations of the Droid 2 lineup. Um, that includes the Droid 2 Global and the R2-D2 version, which is what I'm using. This method is only good for Windows operating systems. Um, 7 Vista XP and also you need to disable any of your Windows antivirus software programs when you download the root file system it's going to if you have antivirus software on your computer it's going to detect that exploit and it's going to delete it um, so it's very very important that you you know disable that and then make sure we re-enable it at the end of this tutorial Okay, so let's download the root file .zip and we're going to download it from here and then just place it on your desktop. Okay, so next we need to install the Motorola USB drivers. So depending on what operating system you have, whether it's the 32-bit Windows or 64-bit Windows, make sure you download the correct ones. Mine's a 64, so I'm going to download this. 64-bit file and then install it okay so next plug in your phone with the USB cable And we need to select drive mode or PC mode. Okay, so once you have the USB cable plugged in, we need to go ahead and make sure that the USB debugging option is checked. So to do that, we're going to go to the menu button, settings, applications, development, and then at the top you should see USB debugging, make sure that's checked, and then we can go back to the main home screen. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is disable your antivirus software. So just go ahead into your program and disable it. Okay, after you have your antivirus software disabled, we need to extract the files from the root folder. So go ahead and extract them to your desktop. Okay, so after you have it extracted, go ahead and open that file, that folder. And we need to select the do root file, double click on that. And just follow the instructions on the prompt. Okay, once it's done, you should have a no errors message as you see here. And that means everything installed correctly. Just go ahead and hit enter. And that's it for that. So now we need to go ahead and re enable your antivirus program because that's pretty important. So make sure that you, you do that. Okay, so back on your phone, in your applications menu, you should now have this super user APK file, which indicates you now have root. 